undermining devolution by allegedly holding meetings to fight alcohol. I think tomorrow will be the greatest circus. Or do I call it the theater of the absurd? That Deputy President Regard Gashagwa, undertaking duties assigned to him by the President to fight illicit brews and drugs across the country, should be impeached because by doing so, he is interfering with the devolution. I held meetings in Nyeri, attended by Governor Kahiga, Governor Waiguru, Governor Irogo Kangata, Governor Wamatangi, Governor Kiari Badilisha. I held a meeting in Chuka, attended by governors of Embu, of Sarakanithi, of Meru. I attended a meeting in Mombasa, attended by governors of Kwale, a representative of the governor of Mombasa, the governor of Taita Taveta, I represented the governor of Lamu to discuss. I held a meeting in Akuru, near with all governors present, and all of us jointly, under my chairmanship, the Minister of Interior and Governors, we agreed on how to tackle the menace of illicit brews. And we have a good story to tell. Out of those efforts, our young men who are sleeping in trenches are back home. Women are very happy. Their husbands are back home and they are bringing food. In fact, some children have been born. Some have even been named Rigiji because of the effort that I have put in fighting illicit bruise. I think the people of Kenya would be shocked to hear tonight that one of the accusations against their deputy president and why he should go home is because he led the battle to fight ill city brews and drugs that has caused havoc among our young people. Please, if regard Gashagwa is a problem, why don't you assign this job to somebody else? Because this job must be done. We must get our children off drugs. We must fight illicit alcohol. And seeing that you want to impeach the deputy president because fighting illicit brews and drugs is interfering with the devolution. I think this is the greatest joke of the year. Even the 291 MPs who signed this motion, most of them, because I know them, have looked for me personally to thank me for the way I have successfully led the war against drugs and illicit brews. And that is why that sham public participation should have had my responses so that the women could hear that one of the accusations against their deputy president is that he should be sent home because he was leading the war against illicit brews and drugs. I don't know. I, I, I think there is something wrong in this country. That somebody has sat down to draft a motion to impeach the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And one of the grounds is that he has interfered with the devolution by leading the war to fight ill city brews and drugs. This is a hate of absurdity. And Parliament will be the theater of the absurd. I would like to hear what, what is the nexus between fighting illicit brew and fight interfering with the devolution. I would like to know. I've never had any governor complain. I've never had any MCA complain. I've never had any Kenyan complain. The only Kenyans who have complained are few. 
They are the manufacturers who are manufacturing poison under the guise of producing alcohol. Those are the only few ones. I beg the National Assembly and the Senate, more so the National Assembly, to save face to consider striking this ground before the motion tomorrow because it sounds ridiculous to the people of Kenya. Again, if Deputy President Gad Gashagua has to be sent home for fighting drugs and illicit alcohol, so be it. <laughs>